Okay, so many people are looking for an alternative to ClickFunnels. And uh, honestly, I am a big fan of Thrivecart in a lot of ways. I like it a whole lot better than ClickFunnels. It's just so easy to use. So uh, let me go ahead and show you what it can do. So here's kind of the uh, dashboard and I'm going to go into some of the products and I'm just going to create a product. I have a choice between creating a digital and a physical product. Um, digital is pretty straightforward, but let me go and, and show you how to create a physical product. So now I've got a client who's got a subscription box. So this is actually um, a really great way to to set up the subscription boxes and it doesn't take a whole lot of extra effort or um, so let's just go um, three month subscription box. I'm just going to call this testing because it's in my account. Uh, uh, that's okay. Uh, that's fine. And I'm going to leave it in test mode so that we can actually test out the credit cards once we get this set up. So we're going to go, oh, fine. Test. Okay. And then here we're going to set up the product price and it could be either a one-time fee, a subscription, a split pay, or a pay your own price, which is kind of cool. Let's just do subscription and go monthly. And this is going to be a $159 a month subscription box. I have a choice of adding a trial period where they won't be billed for the first X amount of days. And then here we can actually say okay um this is so this is the extra um if this is going to be like a three month subscription it's it's laid out right here your customer would charge this immediately and same again every month two times so that's three months the the one that's immediate and then two following months okay um if you've got a limited quantity available you can set that you could send your customer an invoice every time, and there we go. All right. And then this is what we're going to, this is going to appear on the cart. So um, I would just, you know, I'll pick you like that. Okay. So that is that. And then you can say calculate soft uh, tax. And so this is actually going to be like a clothing kind of apparel kind of uh subscription box and we're gonna um collect sales tax in my own country yes i will and we should probably collect that um but just uh make sure that you understand all of that and that is gonna be my shipping address there's they're going to send out a full invoice and i can just it's gonna look like that um, or you could just have a basic notification that's just simply that. I'm going to keep it to that. I think that's good. I don't need any more fancy stuff. If I need a logo on my invoice, I can customize it there. Okay. Now, um, here is, if you want to set up a bump offer, a bump offer is kind of, you, you land on a checkout cart and then it says, hey, uh, I noticed, did you want to also add this to your cart? It's sort of like uh, in the in the grocery store where there's a bunch of gum and soda right by the, the checkout. It's kind of a little bit like that. It's a, a quick win, a quick thing that somebody can just add to their cart right on their way to the checkout. Uh, but I'm not going to do that at the moment. Uh, and then we here we set up processors. I already have connected Stripe. You can also connect PayPal. Um, so you can accept both credit cards and PayPal, Apple Pay, Google Pay. There's some there's some cool stuff on here. Uh, but I'm okay with just Stripe and PayPal. And then if you wanted affiliates, if you want somebody else to make a little bit of commission for selling your product, you can totally use that, but I'm going to skip that for now. All right, now we've got shipping options. So we're going to say the public name. Let's just say that this is uh, US only. And my shipping provider is going to be manual. I'm just going to... So you can actually connect uh, other fulfillment providers, and I'll show you that in a second. Uh, weight is optional, dimensions optional, 
this is going to be national and we're just going to say it's uh, eight bucks to ship and this is available all of the time so let's go there um, we're going to charge shipping on every rebuild so the rebuild being the subscription and then ship a different product no we're going to well technically we're going to ship a different product enter the rebuild so the first time uh, the first time it gets billed, I'm just going to call it this. Well, actually, I don't label you which for ship. This is just for us to check the shipping rate. I actually am going to be, it's going to be flat shipping every time. So we're just going to say USPS, um, flat shipping, whatever, whatever you want to call it so that you know what it is. Okay. You can also add extra shipping options to this product. So if it's US or if you wanted to upscale it, somebody wanted to FedEx it immediately, you can add those shipping options. But I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Uh, and then if somebody wants to email me, club, here I can just display an invoice after they hit the after they hit the buy button. I can also redirect them to one of my own thank you pages and um, and we can have the Facebook pixel installed on that on that thank you page. So the, the pixel that said that you've purchased, um, we can set it up like that. But um, for simplicity's sake, I'm just gonna keep it to, it'll just display their invoice. Plus Thrivecart does integrate directly with the Facebook pixel so you can, um, it should be able to be set up. Okay, so here is, if we wanted a really simple, just one pager checkout, there's also the two-step product where you put in your address and then you hit the next and then you, there's, there's a two-step checkout there. If you wanted to have more control over the look and feel, the one pager is pretty straightforward, but uh, you don't have a whole lot of design options. If you wanted a little more cut, like um, design options, you want to embed it on your site, you can choose this. You can also have like this little pop-up checkout, which makes it very simple, very clean, and can integrate with your site. But because um, I'm keeping it simple for this tutorial, let's just go with the tall one-step checkout. And here I can uh, add a countdown timer if I wanted to. I want to. Um, I can add a video. I can add some bullet points uh, about how awesome your product is and some testimonials. I'm actually going to leave all this blank for now. And I can also uh, make sure that we collect all of this stuff. It's the first and last name. If it's the customer's address, it's going to be mandatory because it is a full, it is a, um, uh, it is a physical product. So you can also collect uh, all of that. I'm going to just say, okay. Uh, I don't remember what that is, honestly. Oh, right. This is sort of the, the opt-in if you also wanted to add people to your mailing list. And this, this is, um, this is European law compliant, um, but I'm going to, since I'm only advertising to the U.S., I want to be a bad girl and not do that. And then you can select the color. You can type in a different, yes, please. Uh, I don't, I, I actually like the uh, complete order. is actually pretty good. All right. So we can also change the backgrounds. So this is, um, you do not have a whole lot of control over font selection and everything. It, it's trying to make it as easy as possible for you to create a checkout page. You can see that the credit card information, the PayPal is so here. Here's how you can choose the shipping. Um, and the, so this is the checkout page. Okay. The success page is going to look go like this, uh, and you can edit the headline. You can put in a video to thank people for ordering, and you can put in some body text. So let's just uh, body text, save, preview. That's what that's going to look like. So you can adjust that. 
And then the tracking pixel here is where you're going to paste the pixel ID, and that's going to be um, included in the training for pixels, um, how to find that pixel ID. All right, so that's checkout. And then behavior, this is how you can integrate it with your MailChimp, your active campaign, and you can also add different tags and different actions uh, anytime if somebody's due to expire. There are default settings that are already in uh, as a part of Thrivecart, but if you wanted to customize things, if you wanted to make sure that things are integrated uh, in your systems, you can do that from here. So I can add them to a tag. Uh, I can add to a list, um, and then I can hit save. So I'm actually going to remove that and then go there. So I'm going to save that, and I'm going to get the URL, and oh, voila. Here is my checkout page, but you can see it's in test mode. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this fake credit card number. I'm going to hit paste, and... Um, you can enter any valid date in any three digits. So I just go like one, two, two, three, one, two, three. And then I say, oh, yeah, I'm just going to fill in some of that. And then I say complete order. So I understand what the process is for the clients that are coming out. So today's payment, and then got two future payments. So they, and then the sales tax is included. It, it's sort of like an auto include there. And once you do that, there we are. We have the success page, and there we go. Bam, bam, bam. So once that is ready to go and I'm happy with it, I can then switch it over to live, save and get URL. And then there's the URL. And that's it. Very easy. And and with a digital product, it's even easier because you don't have to go through all of all of this stuff. You can just go here, create product, digital, um, and you won't have half as many of the options that you would with a uh, with like fulfillment. There's no shipping or anything like that. There there is sort of, but you, it's totally optional. So it's exactly the same thing for a digital product. Okay, so let's also check out the kind of integrations that Thrivecart can support. So if I go over settings and then go to view integrations and then have some payment gateways, this is where I can hook up Stripe or PayPal. And then autoresponders, this is where I've hooked up Active Campaign. Here's MailChimp, here's MailerLite, uh, many other options, Convert Kit. Membership platforms, if you have something like Teachable or any of these other like membership, like a, a sign in where you have all of your content. Then there's some webinar platforms like Demio. Fulfillment services, this is where. Printful, Kunaki, Shopify, ShipStation, uh, Fervante, some other things, uh, even just plain old Google Sheets, um, you can use that for your fulfillment. Uh, notifications, Google Sheets, Slack, Zapier, and then I don't have any of those. So um, this is really where you will, if you're doing something physical, you're, you're likely to have a ship station, and then it will just walk you through all of these instructions and give you a video very straightforward on how to integrate it. Um, yeah, so Thrivecart is super powerful, especially uh, as a sales engine. And what it also can do is you can have some upsells, so after somebody hits that uh, OK button on, on the checkout, you could say, hey, uh, do you want to also add some new upsell? And here we go. And we, we can create it from here. You also have downsells where it's like, uh, uh, well, I don't want to get into downsells. I usually just stick with upsells. Um, you can also create uh, an A-B test, which compares two products against each other. Um, which is also a very cool feature. And then you can uh, create coupon codes as well. 
So you can have a percentage or free shipping, fixed price, maybe it's the discount here, and then here's the coupon code. Um, and then you can set you can set uh, an expiration uh, if you wanted to. You can uh, have it apply to everything or just specific products. And then if somebody uses a coupon code, once again, you can like uh, if anybody purchases i can add them to an existing tag that says okay they got the coupon code from here and it goes straight into my active campaign or to your mailchimp or mailer light or whatever your your system is so again i i am really really impressed with thrive cart um it's a one-time investment so it's uh, about 500 bucks as of this recording um and it absolutely will pay for itself because you can continue to sell in the future um after you pay for it once instead of like a monthly fee like like um like click funnels would do so let's just go over here actually we can create a funnel with this you can enable a sales funnel and then um when the customers purchase i want to display their invoice or provide URLs. Uh, I'm gonna turn that off. I can add them to a membership site and then um, I can configure one upsell um, for something that happens after the purchase. Now, um, again, I can't quite um, have a lot of control over what the sales funnel is gonna look like, but we can do some previewing here. So at present, you have up to five upsells. I just recommend one. So let's view the checkout page. Actually, let's let's go back and let's turn this into a test mode again. I'm gonna view that checkout page one more time. We're in test mode. All right, let's just go here. And copy credit card number, paste that one, one, two, two, three, one, two, three. And then you can see what the upsell will look like when you enter in all of the information. Then they'll have one more offer where this is a you know a private room I can say no thanks don't offer to my purchase or I could say absolutely I have this offer to my purchase all right and then it gets you the thank you and then uh, you can see what exactly is going to be charging and according to this and you're good to go